Hey guys, welcome back to Part of My Imagination. My name is Jasmine, and today I'm going to be giving my top 10 favorite webtoons. So, if you didn't know already, webtoons is basically an app or I mean I guess you can go online too at webtoons.com or you can just download the app on your phone and it basically has I don't want to say manga but it's kind of like manga styled but not really um so it, it's a bunch of just like tons and tons of comics it is amazing and I'm just gonna give you my top 10 um they're not in no specific order I just I haven't seen anyone really talk about webtoons and I don't I can't like put these on my goodreads because like but I do actually spend a lot of time on webtoons reading these comic books because they're so freaking good and all the all right guys and the first one is Laura Olympus this is by Rachel Smith or Smythe I don't know I think it's Smith don't quote me wherever I have space I don't know um basically this is a retelling of Persephone and Hades and basically all things to do with um don't come for me but isn't it Greek mythology yeah I believe it's Greek mythology if not some type of mythology y'all know damn but yes um this is the most adorable freaking like I love it I love it it's mainly pinks and blues and I just love her artwork it's so amazing and it's just another like spin on you know this mythology and it, it's so freaking cute and it touches so many different topics that you don't even realize that it's touching and I will say trigger warning for rape this whole time I had my fan on like blowing so you probably heard it on the audio but it's really fucking hot so I'm gonna have it on the low low. Yes. Yeah, yes ma'am. You can. Why? Because you hit the bed. Why? Because you hit yourself on the wall. I'm really tired. And you fell asleep. Are you still tired? Bye. Bye. I love, love you. you. I love you. No, I love you. It's cool. Okay. Breathe. Breathe. There you go. Now talk. Because I can understand you when you're crying. <laughs> Parenting. <laughs> Alright, the next one is Boo, It's Sex. And this is by, sorry, I'm looking over here at my computer. Daniel Corsetto and Monica Gallinger. Y'all, if you ever need it, some sex ed, you need to check out this webtoon. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I learned stuff and I was like, I thought I... I didn't know I knew everything. I knew there were might have been th one or two things that I didn't know, but I definitely learned a shit ton in this comic. And it's fabulous. Like, it's a fun way to, uh, like, explore it without just, like, being boring, you know. You know, I, I don't know. I can't say, like, do you remember sex ed? Because, um, clearly the educational system has shown that not everyone has the same education on what sex ed is excuse me but yes this and then ugh, what makes it so good oh my god what makes it so good is because you have a girl that is sexually fluid where she does like she's going to have sex with whoever she wants however she wants so you get to explore that you know woman um being like comfortable in her sexuality and like not letting anybody stop her to do what she wants to do then you have another character you all you have your character that um didn't realize that she was attracted to men and women and then kind of leaned to the side more of women then obviously you have your male and female romance and then you actually have another character who is um, asexual, where she just, you know, like, asexual. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. But she 
Um, obviously, she's still involved into it, but it explores so many different sexualities. Um, obviously, it's dealing with, um, unfortunately, I do believe they all identify as a woman. The next one is Big Doe by Jungle and Julia. This, all of these have, like, certain things that are just, like, yes, fucking fabulous. So, this one is doing it how it pretends a lot can i get my words i can't get my words because i've already recorded three videos but <sighs> big joe that's her name her name is joe but they call her big joe because she is fat and she is comfortable with being fat like she she doesn't care honey is fat and rocking it that's what those are the stories that we need right so there is this you know the handsome blonde hair blue eyes like chiseled boy at her school that they are put into this competition of having to train someone to lose weight for this competition that's basically like um the biggest loser um but the trainers are judged on like which of their applicants loses the most weight and you know and then at the end of it they go through this competition and they get evaluated in all these different levels joe doesn't know about that so mm, mm, mm. but it follows Joe, and I'm not going to spoil anything, but all I'm saying is, like, obviously there's a bit of romance in there. There are gay characters, um, female character, she's gay. There is Joe, there's, you know, another male, there is some kissing between some people that I will, and there's a touch of magic. They both, rude, rude. But yes, um, there it's it's just all around fabulous. Like if you want that strong, fat character that is like doesn't care about body shaming and you know she loves her for who she is, and then it kind of explores like after a while the insecurities a, a little bit, and it's just all around like fabulous. You gotta check it out. The next one is Tower of God by S U or Sue, C Sue. I don't know. All I know is, if you need some action in your life, I am telling you, this, this is the webtoon for you. This pretty much follows a character named Bam. And in the beginning, Bam is at the, it's, it's like a it, tower of God. It's on a tower system. The king lives at the top of the tower. And each, each level, you have to compete to and pass a test to get to the next level. Bam is not from the tower. Bam somehow magically finds his way into the tower. And he becomes this chosen. Or he's not really a chosen one, but he gets these secret powers and, you know, all this amazing stuff. And then he gets grouped together with this these friends. And you're just like, you love the friendship. It's so amazing. Like, I didn't even think that a webtoon could make like I just thought that I was gonna get my cute like little anime you know romance and you know just get a little touch of you know cute stuff no this my friend actually um introduced this to me and I'm so glad that he did because when I tell you there's this one person that you're going to hate you're going to hate her gut so much and I'm just gonna leave it at that y'all need to check this webtoon out because like if you want like the underdog but it's like also not the underdog but like he has untouched power and like his friend are there like just boosting him and helping him and he's all around fabulous check this out check this webtoon out the next one is noblest and it is by um hold on because these names are um Jehol San and Kawang Su Lee. Vampires. Vampires. This is about a the nobly and I just it just means like the original vampire, like the first vampire and like um vampires. What else do I need to say? You need, if you just need that dose of vampire, but like, not Twilight vampire, but like, you know, 
elegance and just fabulous and like just funny main character that doesn't really ever say anything but just his his presence and the way he carries himself and the way the other characters react to him like mm, it's so good and like if you just want that mysterious like ooh, you want to know about the main character because like like it's hinted there ooh, don't, don't 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 turn off it's hinted there but like you, you still want to know, like, you want the story to confirm what you're thinking. Nobly. Check this out. And especially, like, vampires. The next one is Lumine or Lumine, uh, Lumine by Emma Krogel. Opposite of Nobly. Werewolves. Werewolves. You have this adorable cute little werewolf that doesn't know he was a werewolf he just like it's just lost little puppy he's so cute his name is illuminate uh no it's not illuminate it's loom lumine loom i can't say his name all i know is he he got white hair cute little ears a blue and brown eye or green eye and he's so cute he's so cute and then actually i think it does have vampires in it Cause like it's a battle between vampires and werewolves and like he's a lost little thing and he stumbles upon um like this cool ass teacher who is a, a vampire but he doesn't know and he's like brought into the service and there's that other person that is they're like it's like different levels like some of them are dogs and they can like morph into smaller dogs and then illuminate is actually like a watch it or not watch it but read it i can't tell you because then i'm going to spoil it all but it is so cute and just it's serious and cute and sad and i just love it and you should just really check it out like what other reason do i have to tell you but werewolves the next one is let's play by mongi i think i'm saying that right this is for my gamers gamers yes so this story is basically about a girl named sam and sam is a indie game developer that is not her job that's what she does on the side she actually works at her father's company overbearing dad her dad is freaking hilarious but at the same time he's kind of like you're okay you're being overbearing dad so like tone it down um she has this super hot boss named charles who's dutch and he fences like he's such a gentleman like suit and tie like mm. Then, next door is a guy named Marshall, who is this YouTube <laughs> sensation. He reviews video games. And it starts basically where Marshall actually plays um, Sam's game um, and ends up, like, not playing it properly and gives any of this shit-ass review. So, it, like, plummets her. You know how mob the mob is, the mob mentality, where you didn't really play the game or not you per se but people will watch their favorite youtuber play this game and like the youtuber is like oh this game is trash and then other people won't play it but they'll go on there and do bad bad reviews even though they never played it well that's what they did to sam so sam is freaking like heartbroken and this is her next door neighbor he just moved in so it's and there's dungeon and dragons or like what is kind of like dungeon and dragons all around it's just fabulous if you love games if you love video games you're going to love this webtoon and you totally totally need to check it out i don't remember what number i'm on but second to last one this one is going to be i'm looking over at my laptop the a god of high school by yongi park this is another one like tower of god where it's like i need i need my fighting i need my fighting and this one is basically about this, it's about this um, school, no, don't do that. It is about this school where they do fighting competitions. And there is this guy that kind of just has like this natural, he was taught by his grandfather, um, who used to be like, was like the number one master. Basically, it's like revamping martial arts, but making this own name for martial arts. So, the guy's grandfather, although he doesn't know it, it was, like, the one that created this martial arts, and he taught him, and he's just, like, fabulous, 
And, like, all he does, he, I'm not only, but his main power is with his legs. Come to find out, I can't tell you the sneak peeks, but if you like, like, martial art type fighting, not too much power where it just makes him, like, alright, you're too, you're too vamped up that I can't enjoy you because, like, you know, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> no shade. Honestly, no shade. I love Dragon Ball Z. But still, like, the main character is so fucking powerful that no one can beat him. That's not this one. This is a good one. And I'm just going to say that there's a big ass monkey in this. And it's fabulous. Friendships are made. Shit is getting jacked up. And shit got to get solved. And that's all I can say for you. It's really good. I really love it. The main character is pretty fucking humble, and I love that in a main character that is also the, like, souped-up fighter. And last but not least is Freaking Romance by Snail Lords. If you need some romance in your life that's cute and mystical and just cute, this is the webtoon for you. So this is basically about a girl named Zenith, and she ends up moving out of her house. I won't tell you because it's like part of the storyline, but she ends up moving out of her home, and she gets this cheap ass like apartment, like too cheap to be true. Well, come to find out, there was this girl that ended up disappearing in this apartment. So you know, haunted, spooky, like ghosts, whatever, was living in this apartment, so that's why she got approved the Lolo. So, Zenith ends up, like, you know, she doesn't really care. She digs a supernatural thing, and, like, she is super spontaneous. You really love her. She's so adorable. And then she starts seeing this ghost. I can't remember his name right now off the top of my head, but all I know is he starts spotting in and out, and she keeps seeing him, and she's like, holy shit, but he can't see her or hear her. So she obviously wants to stay and like check this out. And things start going down from there. And that's all I'm going to tell you guys because I don't want to spoil it for you. I want you to read it. But that is all the webtoons. Those are the top 10, or not even top 10, but the 10 that I read and I love. I read more than that, but these are the ones that like I had to share and be like, yeah, yeah, you need to read this. And yes. That's all that I have for you guys today. If you have any comments or if you have any webtoons that you like, you're like, you need to read this, let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you like my content, please subscribe. If not, that's cool too. And like I always say at the end of my videos, if you don't like my content, then I just don't know what to tell you because I don't give a fuck. Suit and tie and you're just like, yes, Charles. So like, mm, but he a little, he a little like, you gotta side eye him, like, you fine, but like, calm down.